I've really wanted to build a set neck Telecaster for a long time now. Buying a guitar husk from Stratosphere.com would be a great way of starting. A husk in guitar terms, in my experience, is usually applied to a Gibson style guitar where you get a completely stripped guitar body with a set neck, hence the term husk, meaning that there's no parts on it, there's no bridge pickups, tuners, nothing. Stratosphere.com has had the Fender JA90 Gem Atkins model thinline Telecaster body and neck, a husk, for sale for quite a while in several different variations. I've always hesitated for a few reasons. One, I really don't want a set neck Telecaster with an F hole or a semi hollow body. Whenever I've researched getting all of the parts to complete one of the Gem Atkins, I've never been able to find everything that I would need to complete the build. I don't want to get stuck with a husk that I can never do anything with. Recently, Stratosphere.com has had a few Fender Special Edition Custom Telecaster FMT HH Tele Body and Neck Husk available, and the price is pretty good for $4.99. Plus, when I did the research, I was able to find the needed parts to complete the build for a reasonable price, and I had a lot of the parts on hand already. So I decided to move forward. For my project, I built out my own wiring harness and also decided to substitute for the original Seymour Duncan pickups that came with the guitar. Amazingly, the new version of the guitar comes with a sweet set of Seymour Duncan humbuckers. I already had a set of Seymour Duncan Seth Lover PAF pickups that I thought would sound great in this guitar. Plus, I think that they take the look to the next level with the nickel pickup covers installed over the pickups instead of just the bare humbuckers. The only thing I ended up purchasing for the build besides the husk was the bridge for this specific model of guitar, which is basically a Fender six string hardtail bridge. I could have found others for less, but I wanted the color that the guitar originally had, which has some sort of smoked gray and looks really cool. So let's talk about this guitar if I were to purchase it new from the factory. Here are some of the specifications. The body is made of mahogany. The top material of the body is carved flea maple. Overall, the body and the neck are finished with a gloss polyurethane. The guitar comes in three colors of amber, which is what my guitar is, black cherry burst, and crimson red transparent. All three are really pretty. The neck is also made of mahogany, has a shape of a modern C, and is a set joint neck where it's actually glued into the body instead of not a bolt-on like a normal Fender Telecaster. The neck has a radius of 15.75 inches. It has an Indian laurel fingerboard with abalone dots. The number of frets is 22 jumbo, scale length of 25 and a half inch, and the nut width is 1.625 inch with a nut material of graphite. The original electronics that came with this guitar have a neck pickup of a Seymour Duncan of a 59 SH-1N and a bridge pickup of the Pearly Gates Plus Humbucker. The controls, you get a master volume, master tone, the master tone is a push-pull for coil tap, and it has a toggle Gibson-like three-way pickup switch. New the guitar sells for $999, and used the guitar sells for, depending on condition in the market, for $428 to $697. I picked up my brand new husk without anything in it for $499, and the condition of the guitar that I got is actually really good. To me, this is the very closest guitar I've ever touched that would appear to be the offspring or prodigy between a Gibson Les Paul and a Fender Telecaster. This is only a Telecaster by the shape of the body and headstock. Everything else is something foreign to a Fender and close to a Gibson. The neck is set into the body. The guitar has two Seymour Duncan pickups and the wiring is similar to a Gibson. The bridge, like I said, is a Fender Hardtail string through bridge instead of a tunematic bridge. The neck radius is very close to a Gibson coming in at 15.75 inches. Here's where the guitar deviates from a Gibson Les Paul and moves more to an SG. It is light as hell. My guitar, with everything in it, weighs in at 6 pounds and 6 ounces. It's a very comfortable guitar to play. For my wiring harness, I built out a traditional Telecaster circuit with a few deviations. The 
Volume and tone pots are both CTS 500K pots because of the humbuckers. The capacitor is a 0.047 UF drop cap, and the three way pickup selector is a Switchcraft Les Ball toggle type switch. I chose to go old school and did not do anything fancy like the original from the factory specifications for this guitar, like a push pull tone pot that offers coil splitting. The two pin fender tuners, when I tried to install them on this guitar, would not align with the two pins that were actually already pre drilled. I ended up having to drill the pin holes uh, before I could install my vintage style slotted tuners. It's a very striking looking guitar once it's assembled. I keep looking at it because of how distinctive that it is with the quilted top and binding on both the body and neck. The guitar really has resonance both plugged in and not plugged into an amp. I really like the feel of the neck, although the front ends could use some filing later. Plugged in, she sings while clean in all three pickup offerings and through a distortion or overdrive pedal, she's pure rock and roll. Mm -hmm. 